please let me through dude let me through i need to finish the dungeon and you guys are just bonking me back bro let me through hey what's going on guys my name is shaw welcome back into another episode of skyblock we are back here on chaos craft of course if you want to come and join me i am over on the fantasy realm guys and the ip is shaw.chaoscraft.org so if you want to hop online there's the ip there's the realm Come and join us. So since the last episode, we've done a lot of work on the island. More so, a lot of my island members have been absolutely like popping off with just, just building. As you can see, there is just a huge amount more on the island than there was. Pogman and Lit built this entire, entire skein farm and it is absolutely crazy. I think for right now, it's only the one layer. But if we plan to do more layers, obviously we'll all work together on that. But this thing, this thing is ridiculous. I don't know why this line is unplanted. I don't, I don't know what happened. He, he got yeeted, I guess. The island is really, really dope. So we have all of this skein now. So we can use the harvester hose and, uh, and Pogman has a super insane one, which I said last time. We have a bunch of mob coin generators. I think one of these is actually upgraded, they said. One of these uh, is a tier two, I think. Yeah, this one's a tier two. So this one's actually making more mob coins than the rest of them but we have a lot of mob coins these have obviously been taken out recently but uh these things have been absolutely popping off and i think for now as well we have a lot more spawners in that we actually had before as well and speaking of the spawners too pogman actually left me 20k mob coins in the island balance so that i can actually slash upgrade our spawner rate today so there we go our spawner rate is now level one current benefits we're getting an extra five percent spawner rate for all of these mobs which is fantastic so i'm very happy with that Shout out to Mr. Pogman. We have a lot more spawners in here than we did before, and it's very, very nice. We have quite a few golems and stuff like that. We have 51 iron golem spawners in there. Holy heck, dude. And we have 44 blaze right here, which Pogman was grinding just a second ago. Pogman got a freaking robot skin for the Slayer. So he's now, instead of a little pog, he's now a little flame. In the last episode, guys, we set up a basic void chest so that all the drops from our Slayer kills, which are kind of loud right now we did this so all of the drops from our slayer kills were getting automatically sold while we were offline and guys at the moment this chest is the lowest tier void chest you can get which means that everything that this thing sells it takes 25 percent tax out of all of it we have made 88 million dollars from this chest so far from all the drops that we've had 856,405 items have gone through the void chest and been sold of course with the 25 percent tax rate so Imagine if we'd literally got an extra 20% of this because we had a pro void chest on it. So that's what we're going to do today. I actually have a pro void chest in my PV right now, which I'm going to grab in just a second. We're going to replace this one out so we can get an extra 20% more money from this system. And obviously the more spawners we add to, the more a little pog does or a little flame now kills down there that we're just going to make a crazy amount of money. Honestly, it's just ridiculous. So as you can see right here, I have a pro void chest with a uh, shorter sell interval, by the way. The other one sold every 14 seconds. This will sell every five and it has only got a tax rate of 5%. So we're going to take this basic void chest. We're going to break this one. I don't know if there's a way we can... Uh, what's the toggle hologram do? Oh, it just takes the text off. Well, I like the text. I can see what I'm doing here. So all the money's been going into the bank and you're probably thinking, where is it all then? Uh, it's being reinvested. It's, it's been reinvested a lot into spawners and stuff like that. It's been making a heck of a difference. And I think we have quite a few spawners up there. We have... Why do we have 150 chickens? Oh, I remember. That, 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 was, that was lit. That was lit doing that. We're going to break the void chest. You said... Oh, dude, I got so scared. Yeah, then I thought it just gave me this and then I didn't get the void chest back. I, I have never known stress like that. So we're going to put the pro one down right here and we're going to set this one to go to the IS bank as well. Now, the only sad thing is that obviously we can't now see the income in comparison to this, but hey, I have the video proof of what it was. So that's pretty cool. So starting again, lower tax and this thing is going to absolutely pop off. Now, we're going to make the use of this one. We're not just going to sit it in the PV and not use it. We have the miner up here, obviously, and we have been upgrading this quite a bit too. So we're going to do IS up upgrade. We are now on the cobble gen level 9. We still have to get all the way up to level 20, but as you can see, we now only get 15% uh, stone. We get 5% lapis, 35% coal, 30% redstone, and 15% emerald. And we are getting quite a bit of all of our drops in here. Now, obviously, this thing's gonna fill up quick. We aren't gonna get, like, a lot of uh, money from the drops. Like, I don't feel like at the moment, unless we have, like, the diamonds and stuff going, that we're yielding as much money as we are in comparison to this one down here, to the Slayer system, which is why I put the Pro Void chest on that as opposed to this so we're gonna put the uh the basic void chest on this one just so we're still selling these 
drop so they don't fill up stupidly fast. But you know, I don't wanna I don't wanna stress too much about uh about 20% loss on this because th this isn't a lot as it sounds anyway. That sold for like 48k, which isn't bad at all, but you know, it's only a little bit of a loss at that point. So I think the void chest would technically still work there. We'll know in about 14 seconds if this this thing actually works being crushed under this chest. <laughs> it should do. I mean, it, it, it's working. It's sitting there. And there you go. So it's selling away. So that is perfect right there. Let's go to spawn. We're going to do some keys because in today's episode, I have some plans. We're going to do some dungeon stuff. I haven't done any of the dungeon stuff yet. And I'm really excited to hop into it and see what it's going to be like. So let's uh, yeet on over. Let's do some keys. So right now, we still have three votes, uh, five omegas, two ultimates, and a robot key. I don't even think I've done a robot key yet. And I'm pretty sure this is the one where you can get skins, right? A random robot skin so we can get robots and we can get upgrades and a skin you know what? i'm gonna i'm gonna put one of these i want to see what this is gonna be like i mean the skin doesn't come up super often but you know if we can get a, a little skin i don't i don't think we will wait we might we got a blasting robot upgrade common tier reward what does this do oh mine oh blasting is what mines in more areas i think it just like does like an explosive effect of sorts i think that's probably what that does um let's pop open an omega crate as well let's see what we can get done today so we're probably gonna do the robot the omega and probably hey we got another void chest that is is very good actually we may even be able to put the miner on this but that is very very good to have another one of these pro void chests so i'm very happy with that let's just pop open the vote keys as well let's do all of these get these done today and uh see if we can get anything obviously there's a vote so they're not going to be as good but you know we're still going to get some good stuff from this i feel like uh diamond blocks can i just like uh turn these into diamonds and sell them like what's the deal with this do i put them on my island wait do i put them on my island for island value just does, is, do i do i want to i have no idea i'm just you know what someone's gonna tell me but I sold them. <laughs> I did it anyway. You can't stop me. I'm still gonna do it. Ooh, 250 mob coins. That's not a lot, but it's, you know, it's it's a good... Well, I guess it is. It's a decent bit. It's a bit of killing. 250 mob coins is, so I'll take that. It's a legendary tier reward as well. I think I'm gonna get a tag here. Oh, and 100 mob coins. Well, well, there you go. We got 350 mob coins. Not bad. So I just remembered as well, I actually have my G kit. So I have a key G kit. So I got an ultimate key. I have the boosters and I got a two times money booster, three times money booster. And I have my pouch one. And we got a tier 3 XP pouch. Not bad, not bad. So we're going to hold on to those. And do you know what? Um, Do I want to do... How many keys do I have left? Three ultimates, four omegas. I'm probably going to hold on to that because I want to make sure I've got keys, obviously, for other episodes and stuff like that for you guys. But uh, but we are going to do a dungeon now. I've never done a dungeon. I have no idea what I'm in for. I'm kind of excited, though. I feel like it's going to be crazy. Uh, I accidentally went back to spawn when I'm already in spawn, when I'm... I'm trying to go to my home. Now, we have every single G kit in the game. And one of the G kits I claimed recently was the Slayer G kit. And you get this every seven days, but you get very good armor from it. Like, I have, like, I don't even know what this armor does, but I'm going to put it on. And I think it's going to make a difference. It gives me permanent speed two, permanent strength two, permanent fire resistance. And then it, it's just like prop five. And we have the sharp six sword, the Shah sword. So, um, yeah, this is very good. Do I have a Slayer sword, actually? So I do actually have a Slayer sword, but I think think mine's no actually i don't know which one's better i guess mine's better because it's got better sharpness but this does have like fire aspect and it has better on breaking so we're gonna take the slayer sword and we also have the bow too now i don't actually know if i need uh gapples or anything but i have a couple i don't know if i need food i, I assume probably so i'm gonna uh i'm gonna go look at the shop and see if i need any gapples or anything like that okay so i'm all geared up i'm in a slayer set i managed to buy myself some arrows from the uh the slash shop i also bought myself some steak and some regular gapples i do have the the like enchanted like the really good i have like the god apples i don't know if i'm gonna need them so i just went for the uh the regular like, apples just in case but i think this is everything we're gonna go to warp dungeon or warp dungeons is it there we go we're gonna go to warp dungeons and the first dungeon is i think the yeti one right and i think that's the only one i can go in right now so the lair of the yeti now doing these we get soul shop coins soul shop coins can be obtained by completing various dungeon floors right click the npc to access the shop and from you we can get the npc you're you're very far away so where are, why are you so far away <laughs> we can get keys we can get dungeon gear whoa okay the dungeon gear is very very good what the heck dude that dungeon pickaxe is crazy work together with a group of up to four we're gonna do this solo because apparently the first one is is kind of doable solo so we'll try it team up friends or go solo dungeon party dungeon party create so we're not gonna mess with that since we're not gonna party up so you must create oh maybe i still have to create one but it, it i can just be alone right so we're gonna dungeon create a party and then we're gonna go in you killed zero to 30 skeletons zero to 30 zombies okay we're gonna make sure that our sounds up so we can hear these boys as we go through oh you're right here okay fair enough 
enough, then fair enough. All right, we actually might even just turn them down just a little bit. So here's our skelly. So we're gonna, maybe we'll just shoot them from a distance. We'll just heck them up from here. Right, we're gonna go straight in. We're gonna go straight in for this. We have strength two, speed two. We're gonna kill as many. So we have to go through all the dungeon floors. And I don't know if there's like a big Yeti boss we have to fight. Oh my God, I'm just gonna get bonked around everywhere. The ice, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness, so far so good. I don't know how shredded my gear is gonna get from this though. I'm interested to see. Can I get near you guys? Because you're just going to keep shooting me from so far away. We'll just get these crit hits on you too. Four out of 30. So we have to... Okay. So I think we have to kill all... Like 30 of all of these guys. It's, I don't think that's to finish the dungeon, but to probably finish the floor. Oh my goodness. There's so many things. This isn't going to kill me, but this is definitely going to rip my gear. You know what? We just do it, I think. I think we just pop one of these just to get the regen. Well, I don't even need the regen. Just to get the resistance and stuff like that. Just to be sure. Oh my God. They're just bonking me into a corner. You know what? Everybody in my corner. Come and see me. I don't know how many I've killed. It needs to come up and tell me again. Dude, it's all the skellies. Let me through, dude. Let me through. I need to finish the dungeon. You guys are just bonking me back, bro. Let me through. Oh my goodness. Come on. Why? Why is, this, why, why is this the thing? Why, dude? Why skeletons? Dude, are they shredding my gear? They kind of shredded my gear. I mean, I can slash fix, I think, in here. I hope, anyway. They're not even, like, doing damage to me. They're just taking durability off my gear, and it's kind of frustrating. Get out of here. Oh, there's so many things. I don't think I want to go down there, bro. Never mind. I'm turning back. I'm out, boys. Never mind. I didn't want to do the dungeon anyway. I'm so glad I'm in a Slayer set, because this would be so much harder without it, because I'm getting, like, perma strength and perma speed, and this is actually really good on the ice, actually, to have the speed. It hasn't told me how many skellies or zombies I've killed for a while, unless I've just straight up missed it in the chat. I'm gonna try and keep an eye on chat as I fight these guys so I can see how many it says. Okay, I've killed 27 out of 30 skellies and 64 out of 30 zombies. Maybe I killed a few too many zombies, actually. Oh, look at the boss just spawn. Where? Where? Where's the boss? Where is he? Where's the boss? I'd love to know. I, I can't see a single thing. I There's just skeletons everywhere. <laughs> this is chaos. What is happening? Is it down here where the flame is? Maybe it's this way. <gasps> I think it's this way. Okay, we're gonna go straight down. We're gonna try and find this boss. I think this is the way we go. Ooh. I mean, this is the only tunnel that's letting me go down. So I'm gonna assume that this is the way to go. I have to parkour. Okay, I'm ready. I'm a parkour. God. <laughs> okay, we'll keep going. We keep going. We got this. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, is he through here? All right, I left everything behind. All right, I think this is it. Where is my boss at? Where's this him? Oh, the Yeti! Mr. Yeti! I'm about to slap you with this Slayer Sword. You ain't even ready, Mr. Yeti. Oh, did I get him already? Okay. Well, I just absolutely crushed that dungeon. So you earn 40.50 soul coins this round. Congratulations, you finished the dungeon. Next open level is two. Wait, so if I go back in again, do I get to like go in and do another level of it? Damage dealt leaderboard 210 by me. Okay, so if I go back in though, so can I not go in this one yet? So this one isn't open to me, this one isn't open to me, and neither this one. So I have like a higher level dungeon now, I think. There we go. Okay, well, I, I kind of look like a porcupine, like to be honest with you. I kind of look like a porcupine, but so it looks like we've like leveled this up. So I guess I see why uh the keys and stuff are 1800. So we got 40.5 but to be honest i'm already a good chunk of the way to like one of these dungeon pieces which is pretty good so that's not bad at all so i think i'm gonna do another level of this next time but uh i'm interested to see what the other like dungeons will be like and if you guys want to see me party up with some of my island members of course we can go up to a group of four so if i can get a couple people on the island to come and dungeon with me if you guys are interested in seeing that let me know in the uh in the comment section down below and obviously hit the like button too this is another good way of letting me know that you obviously enjoy this type of content and the thing i'm doing in this episode and and also, if you want to see things that I say, uh, you know, ask questions about mid-episode. So I have a couple upgrades for my little friend right here. I don't have any efficiency ones, but I do have a blasting upgrade that I want to use. I have no idea what the blasting actually does. This thing is mine 716,000 blocks. Okay, that's a lot. That's, that's just quite a bit there. And we're also going to add a fortune upgrade to little Shah too. So stats-wise now, six blocks per hit, fortune one on this. And it's not smelting any ores, but that's something we can add at a later date. How's this void chest doing? This has already made 26,279 and I'm interested to see how much the pro one has already made. I mean, it's not been long, guys, remember, 
but it's already made nearly a million. Okay, that's 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 very nice. That's very nice. I guess I could put a pro void chest on the miner too, right? I could take the one from the chest and put it there. Oh, Mr. Pogman just ran up and gave me a smelting robot upgrade. Okay, I was just talking about how I didn't have one of those. My dog is living to bark in the background, but we're gonna just click this. We're still gonna upgrade this. I do apologize about my dog. He'll stop in a little minute. But there we go. Now we have a smelting upgrade. So I think I just spoke to Pogman. I think what we're gonna do is switch this void chest over to a pro as well and uh and just be getting better rates on everything overall so we're gonna put the pro there set that to the is bank and then we have a spare basic void chest so we just we're, we're just rolling in void chests right now honestly so we're gonna be getting better mining rates and we're also gonna be getting better uh rates on the slayer so that is very very awesome now i definitely want to do more dungeons in another episode guys but i'm very limited on time today so i hope you guys do still appreciate this episode even if it is a little bit shorter than the other ones but i really do appreciate you all watching the series i'm really enjoying it and it really does mean a lot to me guys so of course if you have enjoyed today's episode make sure to hit the like button down below it really does mean a lot and of course if you want to come and join us over on the fantasy realm here on chaos craft the ip is shaw.chaoscraft.org it's down in the description as always come and join me come and have some fun guys i really really do appreciate you all have an amazing rest of your day slash night guys and i will catch you in the next episode of skyblock here on chaos craft Bye, guys! Hey.